Okay, my dearest students, welcome to your class. I hope you ready. Good morning, Alec Portillo. Good morning, Flor. Good morning, Angel. Good morning, Johnny. Good morning, good morning Kathy. And good morning, Rodrigo. No tengo estudiantes hoy, me encanta. Señores, buenos días, profesores de inglés. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, ok. Ah, oh, ah, ok. Excelente. Thank you. Excelente. Me encanta cuando alguien dice buenos días. Y todos responden. Aprenda, apréndase eso. Cuando alguien diga buenos días y los demás no contestan, usted diga buenos días. Es parte de nuestro profesionalismo, ¿ok? Muy bien. So, as I said before, previous, previous seconds, I got two readings. And you are going to work in, on, in groups of three or maybe in couples. But for every single one, I got a specific question. And look at the equation for the first one. I will give you 20 seconds in order to take a picture, please. 20 seconds, take a picture. 19, 18, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, this is the first one. And before to give us the answer, as I said, you are gonna work in a group of three or in couples. We are gonna we are gonna read it, okay? Let me see, Florcita, would you like to help me to start? Dulcimers. Dulcimers. When I said stop, I'm gonna choose a new one. Okay, okay. Flora, excuse me. Dulcimers are musical instrument that basically cons consists of wooden box with the strings stretched over them in one form or another. They have been around since ancient times. Probably eh, stop, Mrs. Portillo, continue, please. Probably uh, originating with the Persian singing. Today there are two varieties. The hammer, dulcimer, and the apaladisha or mm -hmm. mountain dulcimer. The former is shaped like a trapezoid that has two or more streets. Uh, stop. Johnny, continue. Thank you. And is played with wooden melons. It is the same instrument played in a number of old world countries. The Appalachian Dulcimers is classified by Musu Collist as a box sister. Uh, it's descendant of the Pennsylvania Dutch. It's Choit Salt and the French Empty. Appalachian Dulcimer are Pakistan and fashioned by artisan in the mountain of West Virginia. Uh, stop, thank you, Gerardo, continue. Um, okay, uh, Johnny, Appalachian mm. <laughs> are distinctly fashioned by artisans in the mountains of okay. West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Virginia. These okay. instruments have three or four strings and are plucked with quills or the fingers. They are shaped like teardrops or hourglasses. Heart-shaped holes in the sounding board are traditional. Most performers play the instruments while seated with the instrument in the, their laps, but others wear them around their necks, necks like guitars or place them on tables in front of them. All right, thank you so much. So we are gonna read it again in order to just to get involved. And Angel, please, would you like to read it from the beginning? Dulcimer, a music, musical instrument that basically consists of wooden boxes with a string stretched over them. In one form or another, they have been around since ancient times, probably originating with the Persian center. Today, there are two varieties, the hammer dulcimer and the avalanche, or mountain dulcimer. The former is shaped like a trapezoid, has two or more strings, and is played with wooden mallets. 
It is the same instrument played in a number of old world countries. The Appalachian dulcimer is classified by music. Musicologist. Uh, stop, musicologist. Christy, please continue. Oops, Christy, fine. Uh, oh, nice. Musicologist as a box sitter. It is the son of the Pennsylvania Dutch Soch Hole and the French Epit. Uh, uh, Oh, Appalachian what is the pronunciation? Dulcimers. Uh, Appalachian Dulciners are Pakistan 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 fashioned by artists and in the most mountain of West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Virginia. These instruments have three or four strings and are plucked. Uh, stop. Thank you, Olaizola. Please, could you help me to conclude? Oh my God. Olaizola, thank you for a nice. Originally, it's up to play dance music. Collision, consumers were put popularized by performers such as Gary Jacob Neal and Jan Litucci. During the folk music era of the 1960s. Okay, thank you so much. So I'm gonna start with the first one. I'm gonna create, I'm gonna create, let me see. Michelle is missing. Maria Jose is me, but Maria Jose asked for permission. Uh, Leslie, as usual, is missing. Okay, R Reina is missing. All right, okay, so I'm gonna create groups. Let me see couples and a group of three, and you are gonna answer the first one. Okay, I got one, two, three, four, five. I got six questions, okay. Give us some seconds to your teacher. I'm going to create the salas. Give us some seconds, please. Okay, before to get into the salas, the instructions are very simple. You are gonna work in groups of three and I got one group of, of yes, and I got a couple. You are gonna answer the questions and just, just one of you have to send to my private WhatsApp, just the correct answers. Like a number 10, the correct one is. Like a number 11, the correct one. Number 12, the correct one, okay? And don't forget to send the, uh, the members of the groups, okay? It is not necessary to, to send a PDF, just the names of the members with the correct answers. And I will give you no more than 15. I think it is too much. No way, it is too much time. No, I will give you 10 minutes. What time is it? 9 con 6, 9, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 9 con 17, 9 con 18. Espero su respuesta. So my dear students, any question? I got two readings, okay? I got two. This is just the first one. And obviously this is not, this is, I, I, I won't take it into account as an evaluation. This is just a practice. And also it's my attendance for today. So it is clear, my dearest and intelligent students. Five, four, three, two. Yeah. Thank my you so much. I have to All pick right. it up. Excellent. So please go ahead.
Hola. <risa> Hola. <risa> Vamos a ver aquí, quiero ver. Como que así fuera de calladito. ¿eh? Ay, caba. <risa> es que las clases, las, clases Oiga, virtuales, activándose. las clases virtuales me, me controlan. <risa> pues sí, porque no tenés ahí a la par para hacer el relajo. Vaya, voy a cerrar sesiones. Ey, el, el grupo de Florcita no me lo mandó, lo siento mucho. Vamos a cerrar sesiones. Vamos con la segunda lectura, chicos. Vamos con la segunda lectura. Bien afilado los estoy mandando. Allá cuando vayan a hacer por el 2024, creo que les toca a ustedes hacer. Sí, pues. El topo, ya van a ir bien afilados. Teacher, y nos va a decir las respuestas correctas para ver si. Sí, enseñan. por supuesto, claro. Solo que no las vamos a analizar por el tiempo. Okay. Pero sí la, les voy a mostrar las respuestas correctas. Y ustedes mismos se ponen la nota, solo que obviamente esto es asistencia, ¿verdad? No es evaluación. Ok. Ok, my dears, eh, I'm just, I'm just waiting for, for Sita's group. He's not in the class. Give us some seconds, ok? I, I, I have to wait for Flor. Ok, 10 seconds, no more than 10. Rosita, what happened? I didn't receive your file and your answers. Sí, ya. No sé I si got, me cayó. Really? Ah, ok. Thank you so much. Ok. okay. Flor, Johnny, and Allison. Ok, nice. Thank you so much. Ok. I will show you the correct answer, but I don't have time to discuss because I need to continue with the second one, ok? Ok, yo creo que ya estamos aburridos de estar discutiendo, así es que igual también, pero más que todo lo hago por el tiempo. Um, I'm gonna... Catherine, would you like to help me to read number 10? And according to your group, which one is the correct one? Uh, yes, Kathy, your microphone is on, but I can't. Only, only the, the, I... I read the, the question. Okay, okay, okay. I will I will say it again. You are gonna read number ten number ten and according to your group you are gonna give us just the correct answer. Not the distractor, not the main distractor, just give us the answer. Okay. According to the passage, a hammer dulcimers is made in the shape of letter C. Okay. Thank you so much. Excellent letter C. Choose another one, Kathy, please. Choose a student quickly. Cristina. Cristina, 11, and tell us which one is the correct answer. Thank you. Okay, according to the passage, we of the following is not an ancestor of the Appalachian Dulcimer. Um, letter B. Okay, in this oh, case, the correct one is letter A. Cristina, choose a student, please. Mm. Quickly. Jose Angel. Okay, Angel, number 12. According to the passage, how many three does the Appalachian designer have? Hmm. Um, According to you and your group? B. Okay. And thank you, yes. Letter B is the correct one. Angel, choose a student quickly. Alejandra Portillo. Okay, Mrs. Portillo, 13, please. Okay, according to the order, most performance play the Appalachian Dulcimers is letter A. Okay, excellent. Thank you, my little. So choose a student, please. Uh, Flor. Okay, Florcita, 14. According to the author, what are John Jacob Niles and Jane Ritchie known for? Mm -hmm. And letter D. Okay, the correct one is letter C. Flor, choose okay. a student, please. Or do we have volunteer? Or choose Gerardo. a student, please. 
Gerardito, the last one, 15. Okay, uh, where in the passage does the author describe the hammer sim? Uh, letter B, lines four and five. Lines four and five. Okay, my dear student, now we are going to continue with the second and the last. I will give you 20 seconds, please. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. I'm going to conclude with this one, okay? This is the second and this is the last one. Five, four, three, two, and one. And now the, um, the questions. Take a picture, please. I got one, two, three, four, five questions. Just five questions. And I'm going to create new groups, okay? I'm going to create new groups. Bueno, no lo estoy creando yo, ¿ok? Zoom los crea porque lo estoy haciendo automáticamente. Ok, my dear students, give us some seconds to your teacher. Ok, one, two, three, four. Ok. Okay, my dears. So, how much time do you got? No more than ten minutes. It means like I will waiting for you until until nine thirty-five. Let me see thirty-five. On no, until nine forty. Nine forty. Yeah, nine forty. Okay, go ahead.
Okay. Okay. Please give us some seconds. Okay, my dears, give us some seconds, please. Okay, I'm going to conclude the class by reading the statements and give us the answer. Thank you, Rodrigo. Read the statement. And according to your group, give us the correct one, please. Okay, teacher. I'm very diverse. Uh, one, two. Uh, 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 read it again. 27. Okay. I'm very diverse. Uh, one, diverse? Two. Divers are ones who, ah, okay. mm -hmm. according to my group, is letter B. Okay, but this is not the correct one, is letter D. 28, thank you, Diego, please help, uh, read the statement and give us the correct answer according to your group. According to the purchase of free diver may use many of the following steps. Uh, letter B. I snorkel, but TK is letter A. Okay, guys. Letter A, you. Diego. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Hi, Diego. <laughs> yes, it is. It's letter, you, let, let me check if you got letter A. Diego está yes, you got letter A. I think <laughs> Diego got confused. Okay, no worries, Diego. Angel, please, 29. Read the past, read the statement, excuse me, and give us the correct answer. According to the passage, the maximum dip for a free diver is around letter B. Excellent. Thank you, Angel. Catherine Barcenas, 30. When using closed circuit. Device, divers, uh, letter C. Okay, thank you so much. And Reina, the last one, 31. Okay, according to the passage, surface flight divers today use helmets made from, according to my group, is letter C. Okay, letter C, and it is plastic. Okay, señores, indicaciones generales. A las 10 en punto les voy a enviar el link que les mostraba el día de ayer. Johnny, si tenés alguna eh, duda, eh, bueno, eh, si tenés alguna duda, ya te voy a mandar ahí donde tenés que, 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 que cliquear para que puedas ingresar eh, a la prueba. Chicos, a las 10 de la mañana envío el link. Trate la manera de estar en un lugar donde nadie lo interrumpa, donde usted esté lo más concentrado, lo más concentrada posible. Obviamente, eh, ustedes van a tener cierto tiempo. Recuerden que por cada statement son alrededor de 24, 23, 24 segundos que usted va a tener para poder contestar. Consejo, si usted no sabe cuál es la respuesta correcta, elija la que usted considere que está más cerca según su cerebro. Pero no, no se espere tanto porque, como les dije, ya van a tener, eh, van a tener cierto tiempo. Y... Esta sí va a nota para cuadro. Esta sí va a nota para cuadro. Les va a medir lo que son. Eh, van a tener que elegir cuál es la palabra correcta para completar la oración. El segundo ejercicio es van a tener que identificar cuál es el error. Y en la última es de lectura, que por cierto, María José, de las tres áreas fue en la que salió mejor. No excelente, a pesar que no ha estado en todas las clases. Entonces, yo espero más de ustedes de los que en este caso pues no han faltado a clases. Señores, nos preparamos a las 10 de la mañana y al finalizar le va a salir un cuadro de nota. Ese cuadrito usted le va a tomar fotografía y me la va a enviar a mi chat privado, por favor. Señores, preguntas o dudas? Cinco, cuatro. ¿Hasta qué hora tenemos para enviarla, Lili? O sea, tenés tiempo, o sea, perdón, el tiempo te lo da la plataforma porque son 100 preguntas para 24 segundos por cada pregunta, 
Eh, lo más que te vas a tardar, lo más creo que te vas a tardar, creo que es como 50 minutos a lo mucho. Ok, no les puedo decir mándenmelo a las 12 porque de todas maneras tienen tiempo. Por cada pregunta tienen cierto tiempo, así que igual, al finalizar la prueba ustedes lo mandan. Ok, ojo. Ah, salí mal, lo voy a volver a repetir. Si lo mando a las 10, no me puede mandar eso después de las 11. Suficiente tiempo. Yo creo que lo van a terminar antes de las 11. Obviamente, si sale mal y lo repite, sí me lo va a mandar como a las 11 con 1 y yo a las 11 con 1 yo ya no recibo. Porque lo más que se van a tardar son de 10 a 10.50. ¿Dudas o preguntas, chicos? Aprovechen. No, esta, esta es una prueba real, señores. Aprovechen, ¿ok? Chicos, fue un placer. Ya saben, eh, cualquier duda o consulta, yo voy a estar disponible desde las 10 de la mañana. Ok, suerte. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Vemos mañana. See you.